Welcome to World Talks at the IGF AGM. Thank you. Well, gender plays a significant role in mining, I think, throughout the mining cycle. So um, both from planning to mine closure, women's voices aren't as heard, for example, in the planning of a process, whether it has to do with uh, involuntary resettlement, whether it has to do with uh, how mining occurs, the footprint of the mine. I would say in the construction and operation phases of a mine, um, there are also gender differences in uh, health impacts. So, for example, in many areas of the world, in rural areas, women are the ones that are responsible for collecting uh, household water and, and responsible for household food security. And in collecting water, for example, if there is contamination of, of water bodies around mining sites, whether it's from, from tailings or, or um, emissions, women can be more exposed, for example, to heavy metal contamination. In benefit sharing and revenue sharing, uh, it's the types of employment. So there's a myriad uh, ways that, that gender impacts of, of mining are gendered. Mm. And what can be achieved then by integrating gender in mining policy? When we integrate uh, you know, women in a more important way, their voices are heard in both stakeholder consultation processes, they're integrated in the workforce, they're integrated at a high level to be able to influence decision-making processes. You also get less community conflict and, and that's a huge benefit for mining companies and for governments. Has there been progress? I think there's been incredible progress. Um, I think there has been um, very slow progress on some fronts, and I certainly think for communities impacted in a negative way by mining, that progress has not been fast enough. I think we can look at any problem both ways. I think uh, you know if we look at the the pace of evolution, I think there's been really interesting thinking for a long time, but the pace of implementation has certainly been slow. Mm. And I think change happens in a very non-linear way uh, as well, and it's very cyclical. And so sometimes, you know, we'll have big pushes forward, progressive pushes forward in terms of mining policy, and then there'll be, you know, a push back. Um, but yes, I certainly have seen progress. I think there's a lot more we can do, and I'm excited for those challenges. And, and, and what I, are the key challenges? What would you identify? I mean, is it down to mining being a conservative industry? I certainly think mining is still quite a conservative industry, but I think there's a lot more plurality in the voices now that weigh in on mining decisions and so do really relate to having more equitable and integrated approaches. So, um, you know, I think, I still think we're, we're far from reaching, you know, true equity in mining in terms of benefit sharing. Do you feel that the mining industry is taking the gender issue seriously? Um, I think it has to take the gender issue seriously. And so um, it's certainly starting, it's recognizing the enormous benefits of taking uh, gender equity more seriously. Um, and I think just by, by nature of um, government pri priorities and, and shareholder priorities as well, it's becoming more and more uh, important. So, mm. you know, sometimes it's initiatives by companies themselves, sometimes it's international policy shifting, sometimes it's changes in national policy, pressure from all fronts, and, and, and then there's, I think, certain leaders that are taking a, a proactive and forward-looking mm. approach. Thank you very much for joining World Talks. Thank you.